to summarize story about Mark Boris Andrianich uh, in maybe five sentences. This is what I missed on yesterday because it doesn't come to you everything at once. Yeah. Uh, Mark Boris Andrianich was everywhere, almost everywhere, wherever I went. But uh, he was really on location, they were of his interest. That's why Warsaw, Uber and all that stuff. He was trying to remind me of the stuff that went on during MK Ultra. So obviously that I would keep my mouth shut because it was a lot of promises, all kinds of stuff he inserted inside. Uh, what kind of proofs that he collected and so on and so forth. Well, in reality, it's like this. In 2008, uh, Mark Boris Andrianich signed together with the Indian government, with the government of India, uh, a contract uh, for literally destruction of Kirka Pharmaceutical that is with the Indian government provided him also um, yeah I told you about uh, Narendra Modi I told you about connection with Narendra Modi and all that uh, actually I'm not going to be making any kind of enemies with the Indian people this is what's not going to happen Narendra Modi I was angry about what went on in Moscow long, long, long ago. In in in, in India, it was it was Mount Everest of abuse, torture. But it was not more torture and abuse in India than it was in. China or in other countries and for that matter um, especially because British royals did have totally common uh, same goals same uh, I mean nobody stood up against the British royals in my case nobody from the West uh, stood up and said hey you know uh, you need to fuck off and mind your own business uh, nobody did any of this, uh, that kind of stuff nobody did anything for me there was no no state no country that would stop this extermination procedure um, it's a big disgrace all over the place for the British uh, I and I really it's gonna be hard it's hard uh, to find believers in British royals in Britain in British on general because of this case this case demonstrated humanity how much as a human being you are actually worth when you turn yourself conscience deliberately so that you can benefit what you consider even as allies um, No doubt it was Milan Kuchan who enforced crime against me throughout the China and India, but it was also British royals who did it. It was 50-50. Uh, none of that stuff would be happening if we wouldn't have Janis Janša and Luise Petrle and such people in Slovenia. Uh, Milan Kuchan in Slovenia alone is not enough to create this kind of conditions to somebody to this this is how everybody in Slovenia knew about me everybody knows me so I had to have this uh, special agreement in respect to certain issues I was at certain issue that the agreement between the two did not uh, defer in absolutely any way. Oh, 
and it's charging. Strange. Um, for me to finish this case about, I don't even know what, because it's so disgusting. Um, should I about Andrianic about Slovenia? Uh, you have seen him how proudly he walked on the streets and what he would do, how he would bring the people together. How positive this man is! He would say, "Stop complaining." Yeah. Uh, inspirational, totally, totally inspirational. In 2008, the uh, Indian government even sent him a uh, lawyers, attorneys. Uh, at his home in India, his home in India, that's right, uh, the lady he got married with and for what he suggested uh, met her in Oxford is what he got married, he got married to basically, started to mate with her already in 2004. All this thanks to Misha Andrianic who was making investments in India through Milan Kuchan, through, uh, started with investments in India in 1996, Andriani started to invest in India uh, in 96, 98, uh, he, uh, all the money he earned through the terror, through the crime against me, he invested to India, who knows, maybe he's a billionaire in India, literally, I wouldn't be surprised about that. And so, you know, in 2008, the Indian government uh, allocated him lawyers, international attorneys, uh, literally the best lawyers they could get, and we'll never forget when he was asking in India, Indian government officials on what he should tell them, what, how he should approach them, because it's got to be a certain approach he would use at Kirka Pharmaceutical Executive Building for complete takeover of the Kirka Pharmaceutical, for which he gained support from Narendra Modi from Indian government. They wanted to own Kirka Pharmaceutical. And so with me, he headed to the city of the Novo Mesto, sometimes I think in 2009, straight into executive building at Kirka Pharmaceutical Lochna right here in the corner. And um, he started uh, what he deemed would be a takeover of the Kirka Pharmaceutical. He brought also attorneys with him and they started to insist uh, Indian attorneys popped up here in like 2009-2010, uh, started to insist uh, Kirka executives that, uh, you know, the companies uh, don't have any kind of future, uh, that uh, just like let's say Volvo, they rather base their companies there and uh, from there they're using them to invest uh, <clears throat> you know to supply them with the products uh, to Europe uh, and that kind of stuff and he wanted a complete takeover of the Kirka Pharmaceutical for which he claimed me that Kirka Pharmaceutical doesn't have any future that Kirka Pharmaceutical is already dead it's buried uh, and it's ready for a complete uh, takeover Okay, uh, 2010, the only obstacle in this process is what Andrianic, uh, that's a question what executives from Kirka Pharmaceuticals uh, have <laughs> on their mind, but the only obstacle, uh, Mark Boris Andrianic de Slovenets, Slovansky, Slovenia, the only obstacle in this I was the one, uh, whatever the Kirka Pharmaceutical executives have on their mind. Look, I found you a Slovenian anthem, she's an anthem, Slovenia! Krasnasi, vistrakci planin, vrtkal prirodnici lepoti koti, 
Prozorni globočin na vihte, tamne srdne moti. Schizophrenia is awesome. Krasnazi v čiplanin. Tvoj tek je živ in je legak, ko hodne klec planine. In jasna si, ko gorski zrak, in glasna si, ko spil krepak planinske je mladine, krasna si hči planin. Rad gledam ti v valove bodre, valove te zeleno modre, tam na zelen planinskih trav, in vedra višne bo svišal lep. Šeza. He is, by the way, nowhere even near as schizophrenic as he acted in my face when I was delivered to him to sing me about. Slovenia! I had no fucking idea what Kirk uh, executives had on their mind. Uh, why I didn't just let Mark Boris, he looked like a grandfather, doesn't he? Uh, Andrianich, yeah, to just complete the takeover. I have no fucking idea. But this is a successful story of the Kirka Pharmaceutical and the Slovenia. Short story, I have nothing else to say. Something to be really, really proud about, especially if you are Slovenian. It goes along, it goes along with the whole thing.